The bracket notation is a different way to denote vectors. We write a vector inside a so-called ket. In order to calculate an inner product, we perform a Hermitian conjugation and get a bra vector. A bra multiplied onto a ket gives a number. What do we have to multiply onto a ket to get again a ket as a result? This is where operators come into play. Operators in the bra ket notation usually have the following form. And really, if we multiply this thing onto a cat vector, we get another cat vector in return. Operators to cats are what matrices are to vectors. You can build operators using any cat or bra. But now, let us look at one important example of operators, the projection operator. A projection operator has the ability to filter out certain parts of a vector. If you apply it twice, you get the same result. This is why projection operators have to fulfill this equation. Let's say we have some bases A, B, C and a vector V, which is in the superposition of those three. If you want to know how much of V is built up by A, we can define the following projection operator. And sure enough, applying P to V gives the A contribution of V. This is important in quantum mechanics where Hermitian operators can be represented by a sum of projection operators. We project out any contribution that we would like to investigate and the absolute square of this coefficient gives the probability how likely V will be in the state A. That's pretty much it for this time. Thanks for watching, see you next week.